Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Brutal Foods and it's time to get excited because it's time for another TV dinner review. Shout it from the rooftops. Shout it from the heavens. Shout it at your neighbors. Shout it at random children playing in the street. Because today we are taking a look at Banquet Frozen Meals, a highly requested uh, frozen meals. Now, from Banquet comes... <laughs> what is it, Cynthia? What is it? Giblet gravy and sliced turkey! Yes, giblet gravy and sliced turkey, together in the most significant frozen dish of our time, buffet supper. When I think banquet meals, I think of college. I think that's the only time I've ever purchased a banquet uh, TV dinner because they're only a dollar. I can't say I remember what they tasted like though. Uh, I, I remember that I bought them, but I don't really remember eating them. Nevertheless, I have chosen four, count them four, TV dinners uh, that we're gonna take a look at today, each of them beef themed. Themed? Can frozen dinners be themed? And since they all center around the same main ingredient, we're going to have a banquet beef showdown. Four meals enter, but only one can be the beef king. There's gonna be three rounds. Uh, round one will be these two meals. Round two will be these two meals. And the winner of each are going to battle in a big, big boy battle. Maybe I should write scripts for these videos. Also, something a little bit different uh, from the previous videos, I'm going to wait until after I eat the meal uh, to check out the online reviews. I think some people thought uh, that my opinion on the food was being influenced by these reviews. So uh, we're gonna wait until after I eat them to see what everybody else thinks. With that all out of the way, let's get to our first meal because I am very hungry. First meal up is the Salisbury Steak Meal. Gravy over Salisbury Steak, creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and cinnamon apple dessert. Grill marks added. So we already know that I'm a big fan of the Salisbury Steak. I loved the Hungry Man one. Uh, but this banquet meal is bragging about their mashed potatoes made with real cream. Uh, so I'm interested to see if there's actually a difference between the two mashed potatoes. I'm also interested uh, to see what their cinnamon apple dessert is like. Uh, that sounds like it could be okay. Banquet invites you to pull up a chair and enjoy classic made in America comfort food. Like you, we believe in quality and good, honest value and trust. You'll taste it in our savory Salisbury steak served with creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and cinnamon apple dessert. They're really bragging on those mashed potatoes made with real cream. I gotta admit, that's a good amount of food. I kind of expected less food from a cheaper uh, frozen dinner, but uh, that seems like a good amount of food. I'm excited about that corn, but they gotta be cutting corn or somewhere. I mean, you can't just sell a dollar frozen meal, right? Okay, so the directions say to cut and remove film, uh, film from dessert. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. It's like frozen over. There we go. And now we microwave it on high for six to seven and a half minutes. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, do it for the full uh, seven and a half there. I hope you guys are okay with me using the microwave this time. Uh, on my Kid Cuisine video, uh, some people got upset with me using the microwave instead of the oven. In my Hungry Man video, some people got upset at me using the oven instead of the microwave. So in this video, maybe you guys will like chill out a little bit. Just a little bit? So we're almost done cooking here. I'm gonna try and describe the smell. It's, it started off smelling really good 
with the Salisbury steak. I'm, I'm into that beef, even if it's fake beef. Give me the beef. But now I also smell the apple cinnamon. And it's just a weird combination of smells. I'm not really, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to the apple cinnamon now. I'm kind of expectations lowering, lowering. My expectations for the $1.25 frozen TV dinner meal, I gotta say they're, they're going down. Oh no, apples are looking a little sad. You've heard of crab apples, now get ready for sad apples. That looks nice. Here's a nice shot of the meal. I guess I didn't realize that the Salisbury steak would be in the mashed potatoes, but I'm actually okay with that. Uh, I was probably gonna combine the two anyway. But it looks fine, you know, the, the mashed potatoes are really the the scarier part, uh, but I think that's just the gravy on there. They are made with real cream, uh, so maybe that's why they look terrifying. And then the apples are just, um, eh. Oh, it's definitely strange. Definitely a bit strange. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's hot and weird. Oh, that is a strange flavor. I didn't even comment on the added grill marks. They're barely visible. Can you see those added grill marks? I mean, they're there a little bit. Definitely added after the fact. So, this is odd. It's just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. The meat, I don't know. With the Hungry Man one, it kind of, it felt like it was ground beef smushed together. This is just feels, feels like one solid lump, which is weird. Oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. It's just the texture though. The taste is, I mean, you really mainly taste the gravy. Oh, it's so hot. I should wait, but I'm not. Let's try some of the mashed potatoes. Just the mashed potatoes. These are made with real cream, guys. Real cream potatoes. I mean, they're fake mashed potatoes. They're maybe a little, I guess, creamier. I would say more watery, but I guess you could argue that that's creaminess. I don't know, I think maybe it's growing on me. I mean, I think the more I eat it, maybe I'm just accepting my fate. Oh, crotch corn. Crotch corn. The corn is strange. Um, red alert, strange corn alert. Red. Instead of juicy, they, they seem a little sticky. Once again, the, the taste is fine, but the texture, I don't know if you can see, you can't see what I'm talking about. It kind of tastes what I would expect like astronaut corn to taste like, like they dehydrate it, they get it up into space, they rehydrate it, and it's like space corn. It does not say anything about space corn on the box though. Finally, uh, let's let's give the apples a try. The cinnamon apples. Oh, I don't like. I don't like that it's in like a, a gelatin. Not gelatin, but it's like a slime. Surprisingly, that's the best part. I'm I'm kind of into the cinnamon apples actually. I'm not really into like the sludge that they're in, but I mean it tastes like cinnamon. And there's, a, there's an apple, or at least something that's pretending to be an apple that's in there. So, on Ian's great food ranking of TV dinner foods and frozen TV dinner foods, uh, this one would rank below Hungry Man Salisbury Steak for sure. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that there would be a huge difference. I kind of figured one frozen TV dinner would be the same as all the others. But this is a lower quality Salisbury steak. 
Uh, the mashed potatoes are maybe better, maybe, since they throw it in there with the Salisbury steak and the, uh, the gravy. You, got, you get some different flavors going on there. So I'm not sure if it's better, because I didn't get to taste the potatoes without any of this stuff. <clears throat> but maybe that's their strategy. I would rate this meal as okay if you are a broke and starving college student. Uh, but I think I would still go for that cup of noodles myself. Now let's see uh, what someone online had to say, uh, because mine is not the only opinion out there. Here's a review by Bittersweet369, who gives this meal five stars. They were deliscos. I enjoyed, they were very good. Uh, thank you very much, Bittersweet369. Now, if you, if you happen to try the Salisbury steak and you like it and you're like, hey, I'm having a party, I've got a bunch of people coming over, I sure could use a bunch of Salisbury steaks, a Banquet does make a family size. Six Salisbury steaks and brown gravy, you don't get the corn or the mash or the, uh, the cinnamon uh, apples, but you do get six Salisbury steaks for under three dollars. Uh, so that's how you know they are quality. So now it's time to find out which is better, the Salisbury steak meal or the meatloaf meal. Gravy over meatloaf, creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and cinnamon apple dessert. Really, I'm curious to know if there is actually a difference between these two. I'm not sure, you know, aside from the grill marks, how different could meatloaf be from Salisbury steak? They're both loaves of meat, right? I mean, even just looking at the back of the box, they're, oh, they're exactly the same. Banquet invites you to pull up a chair and enjoy classic made in America comfort food. Like you, believe we believe in quality, in quality and, and good, good, honest value and, and trust. trust. You'll, You'll taste, taste it in our, our traditional Salisbury steak served with gravy, served with a side creamy, of creamy mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes sweet, sweet corn, corn, and cinnamon, cinnamon apple, apple dessert. dessert. So they could not even be bothered to change out the back of the box. Uh, I guess that might have raised the price. Oh, we wrote a new description for our food. Now it's gonna be a dollar fifty. I don't know. Maybe they will be different. They sure do look exactly the same. Now you may be asking, why all the beef? Why a beef episode? A beef episode, if you will. Well, really, I was just, uh, I was looking at all the banquet meals and trying to come up with a theme uh, because I wasn't just gonna eat them all. There's, there's a surprisingly good amount of uh, variety in the banquet meals. And then I started seeing crap like this where they're almost exactly the same. And uh, I figured it might be good to compare them in an episode rather than come back and eat the meatloaf and it'd be the same thing as this. You know, that's not exciting. Head-to-head -head battles, that's exciting. This is what the people want to see. Wow, that sure does look exactly the same. Uh, surprise, surprise, it smells exactly the same. And even the scary stuff uh, on the film looks exactly the same. I mean, you be the judge. Don't just listen to me, you decide. Does this or does this not look uh, exactly the same? I guess maybe the meat looks a little different. I guess I will, uh, I'll give, I'll give uh, Banquet the benefit of the doubt. Let's dig in, let's not uh, wait. I'm kind of excited to eat those apples again. Going right for the star here. Man, it sure does look like a, not like a meatloaf to me. It just doesn't look like it's ground beef mushed together. It's very solid. It, it feels like it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be that solid. 
Oh, hot. Ow. Different. Ow. Slightly different, but different. I'm not quite sure how to explain how diff how it tastes different though. I don't know the food words. I don't know the food words. But there's something different going on in there. This is like a science experiment. Uh, I don't know. So I've I read all the ingredients and I'm very knowledgeable uh, about all of this stuff. So it's clear that it's different. This stuff over here is different than this stuff over here. And you know, I shouldn't have to explain it. That scientifically tells you what it tastes like. With science. You know, now that I've looked up the ingredients, it, it makes a bit more sense. I really, now that I know what's in it, uh, there's a couple tastes really coming through, specifically the thiamine mononitrate. <laughs> the corn is still just weird. It's not bad, it's just weird. It's still this space corn that's sticking to my teeth. I don't think I've ever had corn not stick in between my teeth, but actually stick to my tooth. Because it's sticky. You know, I respect astronauts more, knowing that this could be the corn that they're eating. To all the astronauts out there watching, I hope you guys get home real safe and you get some real corn in you real fast. And then the cinnamon apples are gonna be exactly the same. It's fine. I don't mind it being warm, which is what I've had complaints about in the past. Like, you know I'm gonna be microwaving the whole meal. So good on you for choosing a dessert that makes sense to be eaten warm. I'm looking at you, Kid Cuisine. Okay, so here's where we're at. I like the meatloaf more. So in the battle between meatloaf and Salisbury steak, uh, uh, shit. Meatloaf wins. My question is, when was the last time you had meatloaf in like a gravy, in a brown, gravy like this. I feel like every meatloaf I've ever had has been in more of a tomato sauce. The fact that it's in more of a gravy uh, slop makes it just taste like a different Salisbury steak. It should be in like a tomato sauce. So while meatloaf did claim the victory, I gotta admit, it doesn't really remind me of a meatloaf. So I guess I'd rate this as also okay for broke college students, uh, but I would still go for the cup o' noodles. Now let's see what the internet has to say, because as we all know, the internet is always right. Well, it's got a lower ra oh. Well, look at this, uh, Smutty72, the world-renowned food reviewer, Smutty72 gives this meal two stars in a review titled Mater Sauce. Please bring back the tomato sauce. Now, where have I heard talk of tomato sauce before? Kiki gives it three stars. Meatloaf, tomato sauce, I'm dying here. I would only recommend this meal to friends if you bring back the tomato sauce brand. I really thought I was the only person that felt this way. Now I know I'm not being petty. Well, Becky says, we want tomato sauce meatloaf, please? The brown sauce meatloaf just doesn't taste as good as the tomato sauce meatloaf. My whole family and a lot of my friends loved the red tomato sauce one so much better. We all think the brown sauce meatloaf is too close to your Salisbury steak TV dinners. We craved the red sauce meatloaf TV dinners all the time. They were an addiction for my family and I and all our good friends. They were so very yummy, better than any other TV dinner your company has ever made. My family and I and friends are willing to pay more money to get them back in stores. They are worth their weight in gold to us all. 
Please bring back the red tomato sauce meatloaf TV dinners, please. Uh, well, as you can see uh, from that heartfelt plea from Becky, uh, it seems like they did have tomato sauce meatloaf and they just cheapened out. They were like, hey, we've already got this gravy going on, the Salisbury steak. They're basically the same thing. Let's just, let's just put it on the meatloaf too. You know, Becky, what you really gotta do is you gotta start a Twitter campaign. That's how you get shit done these days. You gotta go hashtag tomatoes for Becky. Okay, so we have our first champion. The, whoa. Well, I'm not gonna bend over and get that. It's so far away. So we have our first banquet champion, uh, the meatloaf meal. Let's see who it's gonna face in the ultimate beef showdown. Uh, asterisk of banquet beef meals, not of real beef meals. Next up, we got spaghetti and meatballs, also known as spaghetti with meatballs. Spaghetti with meatballs and marinara sauce. This time around, Banquet is done bragging about their mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes do not factor into this meal, uh, but now they're bragging about their made from scratch marinara sauce. What I really wonder is who does Banquet think they're fooling, right? I mean, who is, do they think people are going out buying banquet meals for made from scratch marinara sauce? You're making like dollar TV dinners. You're not fooling anyone by bragging about your marinara sauce. I think you'd be better off just embracing what you are, targeting that broke college student demographic, and maybe even changing your name to budget. Once again, they did not change the back of the box. Banquet invites you to pull up a pull chair, up a chair and, enjoy and enjoy a classic made in America, made comfort, in America food. comfort food. Like you, we believe, believe in quality, 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 quality and, and good, value, and honest value, and, value, and, and taste in our spaghetti and meatballs in our traditional meatloaf from scratch with marinara sauce. So, I mean, they know well enough that people aren't reading the back of the box. Like, if, if everyone was reading the back of the box, people would be like, something's up here. Something's up here, Banquet. But they're still trying to sell me on made from scratch. I don't know, maybe it's good. Let's, let's see how the marinara sauce is. Marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, this is not what I expected. Uh, the <laughs> spaghetti and the marinara sauce, marinara sauce and meatballs are completely separated. I guess I expected them to all be together, uh, but they look very strange separate like this. Maybe that has to do with how they heat up. Maybe, maybe it's best to separate them as you're microwaving them. I guess I would believe that, but it still looks scary. Okay, yeah, there's, there's an extra step. We're gonna stir it in as we're microwaving. Uh, so let's let's get going. Gotta slit the film to vent. All right, so now we gotta stir it and then microwave for another two minutes. I can do that. So here we have the spaghetti and meatballs, uh, which sure does look like a plate of spaghetti and meatballs. My immediate question is, if they have this great made from scratch marinara sauce, why did they take it off the meatloaf? Why? It smells pretty good and honestly, it looks the least threatening of the TV dinner so far. Maybe it's because the meat is in little chunks instead of a slab, maybe that helps. Now, I might have some immediate negative bias to this meal. I'm not super into spaghetti and meatballs. Um, it's just not my cup of meatballs. I'm into the meatballs, uh, but when I make meatballs, I usually put it on meatballs. I make a meatball sub. 
The problem is that I don't really like watery marinara, marinara spaghetti. And this sure does look like watery marinara spaghetti. So let's, uh, let's take a bite here. Okay. Um, I mean, it tastes like noodles and marinara sauce. I don't know how hard that is to nail down, though. That sure is noodles and marinara, marinara sauce. sauce. It's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It is what it is. And, you know, that's more than what I can say for the previous two meals. Let's check out the, let's check out the meatball here. Let's just do one meatball. Meatballs, 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 meatballs. It's a meaty ball, a ball of meat. You know, I was joking a bit, I was joking around, having a little laugh at Becky's expense. But the marinara sauce is better than that, uh, the brown gravy sauce. I'm kind of surprised. Um, I kind of thought this would be my least favorite, or one of my least favorites. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Not bad. I think I would still take the cup of noodles, but I would maybe mix it up from time to time on, uh, on the, uh, with, with the, uh, uh, so that's the spaghetti and meatballs. But that one, uh, that surprised me. I'm surprised. Let's see what, let's see how surprised the internet is. Bletch in Michigan wonders, why are there anchovies in the meatball? It's gross. Are there anchovies in the meatball? I don't think there are anchovies in the meatball. I, I don't think that is a, that's a true thing. It seems like these are genuinely uh, well-accepted meatballs. Uh, I don't know how, how much praise I would give it outside of a TV dinner, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. You're definitely gonna have a better time making your own. Sometimes you don't have time for that. Sometimes you just want to throw a thing in the microwave oven for a little bit, undo it, stir it up, throw it back in there, and then eat it. So, you know, sometimes that's all you want to do. But can the spaghetti and meatballs win against the Swedish meatballs? Uh, maybe. Swedish meatballs, traditional sour cream gravy with Swedish meatballs and egg noodles. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna say I'm worried by the fact that the sour cream gravy has the star billing here. It, it seems like I'm just gonna mainly get gravy. This time, they are bragging <laughs> about made with real sour cream. I didn't even know there was fake sour cream. Banquet, Banquet invites, invites you to pull up a chair and enjoy a glass of marinara made in America by you who believe in quality and good, good and quality and 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 good. Swedish meatballs. The meatballs uh, look a little sadder. They they don't look as happy as the previous meatballs. Uh, nor does <laughs> nor does the gravy. But you know, I hear it's made with real sour cream, so we should be in for a treat. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know about this. It's pretty clear why they listed the gravy first. Uh, I was kind of joking earlier, but your main, the main thing you're getting is this sour cream based gravy. And that is not a trick of the light, a trick of the camera, or some other kind of trick. Uh, that is a very orange looking uh, sauce. Uh, I don't want to eat this. Don't want to eat it. Not even a little. But I guess I have to. But I don't wanna eat it. Especially not excited about the noodles. I don't like big 
noodles. Big, wet, floppy noodles. Uh, let's start with the meatballs. Let's get, get some of that sauce on there. I don't mind the meatballs. And I don't know if I said this earlier, I am all basing this on TV dinner standards. This is not a real meatball. You couldn't give this to someone at a restaurant and trick them into thinking it's a real meatball. But, you know, as far as fake meatballs go, it could be worse. I mainly taste the pasta. It just tastes like pasta. And I'm not a big fan of how that looks on the side. I expect it to be a lot, I don't know, a lot more scared by the dollar value banquet meals. Eh. Eh. It's all very salty. It's all just, every meal has just been very, very salty. Very salty. Very salty. I think I just get Stockholm Syndrome with these things. The more I eat them, I adjust the taste, and I'm like, it's warm. It's kind of cold outside, so warm food is good. It, it warms me up. But I mean, as far as noodles and sour cream sauce go, I, I guess I would expect it to be worse for a dollar. That's what I can say for all of these things, is I expected worse for the price point. But how is it so cheap? Is it the portion size? I guess you really only get four little tiny meatballs and the rest are just noodles. Four meatballs is not that much. Uh, it's time for a real moment with Ian being real. Uh, my video camera's memory card just filled up so I had to get up and, and go to my computer for a bit to, uh, you know, unload it of all of its video files. And like immediately standing up, just a stomach pain. Too much, too much banquet. Do not eat this much banquet frozen meals. Do not eat this much frozen meals in general. I am a professional. Do not attempt at home. Professional. I don't remember what I was saying uh, before I left, so let's go ahead and check out what the internet had to say about the Swedish meatball. I used to love this meal. I don't remember the gravy being so nasty, though. And I have really low standards in an iron gut. It... has an orange tinge to it. Is that supposed to be beef? The meatballs don't taste like beef either, but I accept that considering the low price. It's pretty funny what we are able to, you know, accept and not accept when it comes to frozen meals. The, the beef tasting fake and being fake, sure, that's fine considering the price. Orange sour cream sauce though, uh-uh, mm-mm, no, 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 no. Here's a review by Princess titled Meatballs? This product is super gross. So when it comes down uh, to the battle of the balls, uh, I gotta give it to the, oh, I gotta give it to the made from scratch marinara sauce and the spaghetti and meatballs, also known as spaghetti with meatballs. It really just tastes like a standard plate of spaghetti, nothing special. It's just spaghetti with meatballs. And really, when you're paying like a dollar, uh, what more can you ask for? But now our champions must move into the finals. It's spaghetti with meatballs versus meatloaf meal. Who will win? Well, surprise, surprise, it's spaghetti and meatballs. I gotta say, this is a surprise to me. I expected Aaron to Aaron like Aaron this Aaron one the Aaron least, Aaron but here Aaron we are. Uh, this is the winner of the beef battle of the beefs. Uh, I don't remember what I called it. I would be interested to have tasted the meatloaf with the marinara sauce. I think if the meatloaf still had the tomatoey sauce, there's a chance it could have won. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm hashtag standing with, with Becky here. Um, that brown sauce is just not as good. If I was to recommend any of these meals to a broke uh, college student out there, it would be the spaghetti with meatballs. Be sure to get like a salad or something with it. Please get something else to eat alongside the spaghetti and meatballs. Also, you need a really tall glass of water. But this tasted like spaghetti and meatballs. And that is high praise here on my TV dinner reviews. If you liked this video, be sure to check out my other TV dinner reviews. We've done Hungry Man and we've done Kid Cuisine. We've also got movie reviews. I got game reviews. I got reviews for everybody, man. A review, review, review to do. It's, uh, that's my slogan. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna go drink a lot of water. Not a little bit, I'm gonna go chug a bunch of water. Thank you for watching. Winner of three Banquet Academy Awards, Best Sliced Turkey. Best performance by a giblet gravy in a supporting role. Best performance by a housewife. I just put it in the oven, and by and by it was done. And I had a delicious buffet supper. Oh, yes, I did. Slices of turkey, all covered with gravy and little bitty giblets. Do you hear me?